What's up Aquarius, it's your girl Sid from Savvy Sentient and welcome to your January 2022 love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. Please make sure that you subscribe. If you are not new here, please make sure that you are subscribed, but also welcome back and thank you for your support thus far. All subscribers will automatically be entered into a chance to win a free reading from yours truly. I'll be pulling one subscriber every week maybe two, one to two every week um, to schedule a personal reading with me, okay? Any other information you need to know about me is in the description box below, the website, and all my other social media. Okay, but let's go ahead and get into your reading. All right, what is the overall energy of this reading? Aquarius and love, all right? And this can be about the person you're with, the person that you're thinking about. This can even be a platonic friend, okay? Uh, but, you know, whoever's in your heart right now. What is the overall energy of that relationship? Okay. So, we have the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords indicates that there may be a stalemate, a lack of movement happening in this connection, uh, a need for someone in the connection to make a head-over-heart decision about the connection. Okay? Let's pull a Lover's Oracle for you. The Lover's Oracle for Aquarius. The Lover's Oracle for, Aqu for Aquarius. Let me find out. <laughs> so this is the card that falls. And it says, Sexual Union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. All right, is this a um, sneaky link? Sneaky link? Sneaky link? Is this a sexual connection? Is that why it's not going nowhere? Because y'all are just sneaky links. Maybe one of y'all want a little bit more than just a little sneak, sneak, sneak link. Look now, who was that? Aries? No, nah, that wasn't Aries. That was um Taurus. That got similar love oracles, okay? Um, we have the not enough card. So for some of you all, being a sneaky link is just not enough for you. I mean, it's cool and everything. Like, they do what they do or whatever. Frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Maybe you're getting jealous of other people that this person is talking to. Even though, you know, you're getting a little, you know, you know. Um, but you want more than that. We have the palm tree. We have stability, security, permanence, growth endurance and flexibility okay and we also have paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness and enjoying each other yes y'all are yes y'all are but one of y'all trying to get up out of the friend zone i don't know maybe both of y'all trying to get out of the friend zone but this sneaky link um situation is just not enough for you anymore all right, so let's see how this person feels about you, Aquarius. Let's see what their uh, feelings are for you. How does this person feel about Aquarius? 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 That's too many. Um, honey, <laughs> he's not looking good. I'm sorry. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Oh. Sheesh. Okay, and how does Aquarius feel about this person? How does Aquarius feel about this person? How does the person feel about Aquarius? I mean, how does Aquarius feel about this person? Mm. So it's you that's stuck, Aquarius. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And what is the mutual energy here? 
Hold up, hold up. What is the mutual energy here? <laughs> so first of all, let me just say, this situation is very sticky, all right? This situation... Aquarius, in this situation... I don't feel like you're going to get what it is that you are looking for. I feel like you are the one who wants to move this sneaky link situation into a more stable um, situation. I feel like your feelings are a lot more invested in this situation than whoever it is that you are dealing with. This person feels like you, let me see, clarify the nine of swords. They feel like they don't want to be burdened. Um, they don't want to be burdened by having to make choices between you and other people. And I think that's how they feel. I think they feel like you are very uh, worrisome. Um, I feel like this is probably a situation where you all had an understanding in the beginning. And I feel like you did not honor the understanding, okay? This person feels like justice would be leaving you out in the cold, all right? They feel like the right thing to do is to just cut their ties with you and just let you go on and go about your business. Um, they may even um, feel you getting too attached. This may be even something that you have vocalized to them. But we also have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. They either feel like you're depleting them or just that they don't want a new beginning in love with you. This was only supposed to be a casual situation and you want more. And I feel like you may have been pressuring them to give you more. And maybe that is depleting them and making them feel like they're really over it. Okay. Um, and the last... Two cards are the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords is new communication uh, breakthrough, but the Ace of Swords is also a double-edged sword, okay? So it feels like they're slowly trying to figure out a way to cut you off, all right? I don't feel like they want to be hurtful, but the situation is just not giving what you all agreed that it was going to give. So now they're just sitting here like, what the fuck is Shorty on? Like, it was just supposed to be sex. Better like, ahora, they trying to wife me, husband me. Like, that's not what we agreed on. Okay? And your energy is the page of pentacles. You're in manifestation mode. You're trying to um, plan for some type of stability with this person. You are um, strategizing, okay? You're really trying to use your head <laughs> and, and when you need to be, come on. You're, you're operating from your heart space, but you need to be operating from your mind. Um, you need to, like you're not, look at this two of swords. Look at homie. Got a blindfold on. You want to be blind to what's going on to what's being said to you this person may have blatantly said i don't want that and you're like mm, maybe i'm just not loving you hard enough so you can see that this is what you want no this person is being very direct with you i don't want that and you're over here trying to figure out a strategy to make it so we have the star card here this is wishes coming true this is recognition. This is hope. You are being extremely hopeful in a situation where this person is saying no off rip. Like, um, you're trying to figure out how to make this page of wands, this in and out, this um, sneaky link type energy be more permanent. You're trying to prioritize it in your life. And um, it's not a priority. <laughs> 
It's not a priority for you. It's not a priority for them, but you're trying to make it a priority. The mutual energy here is a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, um, which is what you both want. However, this person doesn't want that with you. Uh, this person is tired of working on this with you. They're tired of investing in this with you. They don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to be the reason why. It's what they want. But you, I feel like you don't even see that this is not something that could be worked on. It's like you know it, but you're feeling like I can force this new beginning. And you're very emotionally um, unstable right now. And they are too, but not in the same way. You have like a sadness and a desperation versus them. They have this uh, anger almost like, why? Like, what are you not getting? Like, what are you not getting? I said I didn't want this and you're trying to force it. So, I don't know. Let's see what the advice is. What is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Oh. Baby. <laughs> Simple and plain. So we have the chariot in the reverse. The chariot in the reverse is a lack of willpower, okay? This is a lack of passion drive and determination um this could even be like think of the chariot as a car when you're in sound mind and body not drunk you know freshly from the gym or whatever in a good mindset you drive that car perfectly but when you're in a chaotic mindset when you've been drinking and by you driving reckless all right and you're you are trying to just do anything right now. It's like you're grasping for straws to make this situation work when what you need to be doing is resting, meditating, surrendering, taking the L. Let, let the chips fall where they may. Five of Pentacles, go ahead and separate yourself or let this person separate from you because what you're doing right now looks chaotic and you look crazy in this situation okay and it's just not really serving you so that's your reading also it's mercury retrograde so maybe you shouldn't be trying to push that anyway um but yeah that is your reading if this resonates for you please let me know how in the comments below also try to focus on yourself focus on your healing uh Focus on recovering from this, okay? And focus on self-love so you're not looking for it in someone who doesn't want to love you or doesn't want to be loved, okay? They're the freak of the week. they for the streets. You have to be that. Um, but yeah, this is your reading. If it resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe for a chance to own a free reading. And until the very next time I read for you all, Aquarius, I wish you all love and light. And everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.